What's going on champs and champets? It's FireMonkey here and it's almost 1 p.m. Eastern time which means we're about an hour or two away from when the hand is actually supposed to emerge from the ground. So I thought we'd go ahead and go in game and tell you guys what you should be keeping your eyes out for when this hand actually emerges. Or at least at this point the hand's probably already in game and you've probably seen this video because of the fact that I'm advertising, hey guys look I got the hand footage. But you get the point right? We're going to go ahead and see if all my theories and all the leaks and stuff nowadays are actually accurate to what's happening in game. So it's currently 1257 p.m. and at 1 p.m. Eastern time we should have a normal crack happen in the game since we've had all of the normal cracks and stuff actually occur with all of them filled up with magma. What this means is that after 1 p.m. at around 2 p.m. Eastern time the hand should actually emerge from the ground and between the crack that you're actually about to watch me see in game or you know I guess the earthquake or whatever else and the next hour we should be able to see a little bit of VFX coming from the battle bus to kind of hype up everything going on here. Now, assuming that I can get out of this game as quickly as possible and get into the next game, we should be able to see both this actual earthquake happen in game and then the VFX from the bus as well. And if that does actually happen as it should, then that confirms that within the next hour after I record this part of the video, we will actually be seeing the hand emerge from the game. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, get some wood and all that type of stuff so I can build a little structure to view from. And I'll catch you guys when we're around 10 seconds away from this earthquake happening. Okay, so this is actually very interesting. As we're sitting here waiting for all this hype up to actually occur, we just got a tweet over on Twitter from Fortnite themselves, which just says, need a hand question mark, which most likely means that this activation in the next minute is that one hour marker before everything goes down. So let's just go ahead and watch this. And in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Earthquake? Uh, huh? Wait, okay, that, wait. Now I'm confused because every hour we've had an earthquake in the game, but this hour there's just been nothing at all? Like, I'm scared to even end this recording or anything. Let's go into a new match real quickly and see if this is actually going to have the Battle Bus VFX or not. Okay, assuming everything goes to plan in this new solo private match, we should be able to see some type of VFX activation from the battle bus around 5 seconds into being in the bus that will actually hype up the whole entire hand emerging in the next hour because we haven't actually seen that as of yet. So let's hope once we load in that we will actually see this. I mean, regardless of if we see anything or not, it should happen at 2 p.m. Eastern time because of the fact that Fortnite themselves over on Twitter is hyping up and advertising this hand coming to the game. Now, if only this loading screen could be a little bit quicker. All right, here we are going into a match. Now, keep in mind, this hand should be an hour away from now, but the servers are getting hit hard. I mean, as of right now, as I'm looking at the player count, it is having around 4 million people on at once, and it's still going upwards, and we're not really at the peak Fortnite time or whatever else. So let's see, is anything going to happen around five seconds? Yes, it is actually happening. Okay. Oh, that is a lot of smoke. Hold up. That is, oh. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're about to get a hand actually occurring in the next hour. This is it, boys. This is the moment we've been waiting for. So with that said, I will see you guys in the next hour when we watch this hand officially emerge from the ground to hype up Chapter 5 Season 2 and we'll be able to start breaking all of the chains. So until then, see you guys in a short moment. All right, what's going on champs and champ pets? I don't know why I did this thing like I was starting a brand new video, but we are currently around four minutes away from the final actual crack. And I guess, you know, the Titan hand actually emerging from the ground. So I thought we would go ahead and bring a few things over here. The reason why I want to start this part of the video a little bit early is so we can get fully set up. The reason why is because according to the leaks and everything else, this actual box when it opens up will have a hand tornado type of thing coming out of it. But now that I'm actually sitting here landing on the ground, about to grab a car to go ahead and put it in the tornado, I'm realizing that we still have to break the chains of the car, so that was kind of pointless, but you get the point, right? We're around three minutes away from the hand actually emerging in the ground. I'm obviously not going to make you guys wait an entire three minutes, but I thought I'd do a little bit of an introduction, kind of hyping everything up. You know, this video has been going on in the background for around like three hours now. You know, the dedication to making these videos is real, and let's see how we can actually go about, you know, making this pretty cool. You know, I think both those cars right there are going to be safe. I know that whenever this actual earthquake, you know, goes around and like puffs up in the sky and all the type of stuff it does tend to throw cars around so hopefully that doesn't happen here but it is very interesting to see all this stuff going down it is very interesting to see how we have this whole entire crater in the middle that is going to become a hand and i will go ahead and pause it until we're a little bit closer while i go ahead and find a nice spot to watch this 
All right, we're currently around 30 seconds away from the earthquake actually happening, and I decided this spot right here because what's going to happen when the Titan hand comes out of the ground is it's actually going to be pointed towards the ocean. So right here, we'll be able to see the most of the animation instead of getting backhanded by the actual hand, right? So we're currently around 10 seconds away, and let's do a nice little countdown. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hand time! Oh, oh, it broke my- oh, okay, no, don't put me all the way over here, I want to see the hand emerge, please, please, don't mess this up on me. Oh, the music, hold on, let me, let me up the volume for you guys. Yo! Oh my god, that is massive! What the? Jesus, dude. The hand is massive and the music and everything else made that- Oh. I, I, I don't really know how to commentate this. This is just- That was insane! Like, I, I, I know it sounds a little odd or whatever else, that it's like, oh, yo, the reaction! Oh, he knew the hand was going to spawn there or whatever. But genuinely, that was super insane to see the animation of. Now, real quickly, before I tweet anything or in this video, I want to see if I can go ahead and actually climb on top of it at all? No, okay, it looks like you can't really climb on top of it, This is, but this is definitely a spot where you can get like a grapple blade or something and quickly get up there. So actually, let me go look for a grapple blade and try that out. So I'm in a private lobby and I actually don't have any bars because of that. However, when I went over here, I realized that a grapple blade is sold by the Odyssey NPC themselves, so I wouldn't be surprised if they actually want us to go ahead and grapple up there. So I'm debating between going into a bot lobby or just kind of going around and farming for a little bit to get the gold I need to actually buy that. So I'll see you guys in a short moment when I actually do get that. I know there's a lot of jump cuts here and there, but I really want to see if you can scale on top of it. Actually, I do have another theory. Before we go ahead and go into a completely new lobby, let me go ahead and use the flow berries and see if I can't make my way up here a little bit easier with the actual low gravity, or if there's a little bit of like some odd barrier type stuff going on here. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, okay, we need to let our stamina recharge here. Hopefully I still get low gravity for long enough. Ah, oh, wait, okay, maybe this isn't going to work. Hold on, hold on, I need to think about this a little bit better. No! Okay. I, I, you know, I don't know if this is going to work too well for me or not, but I really want to at least attempt it as much as I can here. I just really think I'm wasting how I'm using the Flowberry because I'm using it right when my stamina is like depleted, but you can get a decent way up. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, you can get on top of the hand. Can we actually pickaxe the chain from up here? It doesn't look like it, but this is definitely something you can do. At least, you know, maybe it's a really good hiding spot in ranked mode or something if you're trying to get the final ranks by just kind of hiding around and camping because, you know, you can just kind of like, for example, sit right here in between the chain. You do kind of wiggle off a little bit there and it looks like if you want to get to the very top, there we go, we got it up to the top without even the grapple blade, but this is super sick and you, wait, can I fall through the hand? No, so it's just like an invisible barrier right there, and we can actually shoot the boxes down here as well, so you can get some damage done, but this is really, really cool to see. Now, of course, I'm going to, actually, I won't die to fall damage because there's water right here. I want to see how far out I can go if the barrier, oh, the barrier doesn't go too far. All right, well, you can see there's a decent amount of stuff going on here. You can definitely use the box as something to hide on if you actually mantle up there and, you know, use the grapple blade, or you can just flow barrier your way up as well. So with that said, hope champs and champions enjoy today's video. What? Is, wait, is that just because when I'm close to that? Does that do it to my camera? Or is my camera just bugged? Huh? I, I, I'm gonna assume that's because of this right here or like the glowing chest or something. But yeah, okay, it's definitely because of that. I was like, why is my graphics all of a sudden so like dark? But it is super duper cool to see what's going on in the game. So until next time, hope you champs and champions enjoyed today's YouTube video. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't like it. And I'll catch you guys next time when the chain probably finally breaks. Peace out.